So Helen seems to know an awful lot about mermaids. Yes, her whole passion and purpose her entire life. She's a little bit obsessed with mermaids, you could say. Just a tad. Just a tad. She is always, as the pilot says, every town has a tale and every tale has a believer and Helen is your believer. She believes so much. She, her whole livelihood is her antiquity store. She goes to markets and flea markets and second-hand junk stores to collect all this memoria, Billy of Mermaids uh, collectible stuff because she's a believer. She believes in the history. She, you're going to kind of have to watch the series to find out what she knows, but it's it's based on a very solid foundation. Her belief and um, Rin coming to land is her, her greatest dream come true, but also her worst nightmare because I know the problems that are going to happen because they've come to land. So yes, I'm full of secrets. You have to so, watch. So full of we secrets. Will you will right eventually, now. all will be revealed. No all will yes. be revealed. Yes, yes, yes. And, and how about you guys? Do you, I mean, do they know anything about this? How surprised are they by... I mean, what they're finding out. you most certainly know more than I do <laughs> about the mermaids, most certainly. Um, I, for Xander, I think it's all, it's, 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 it's shell-shocking, you know, like, it, it, it's, he's just, there's just normal people and they really just assume that all of it is just lore and stories and, you know, it's all kind of fanciful and fluffy and once he sees with his own eyes uh, the truth of the world around him, um, I think he becomes that person who's like trying to get everybody to believe him. Like he's, he's trying to like get. I mean, like I'm pretty sure. Even though I don't think this is directly uh, addressed, I'm pretty sure he's heard so much from you. Yeah. And I haven't even thought yeah. about it because, of course, yeah. I've heard it from you. And then yeah. that's such an interesting dynamic as well that's to true. finally be that's right. to being, finally see it and be like, right. oh my god, this is what yeah. she's been saying all all along. No, that's <laughs> right. And Ben actually not. says that he used to read kids to us as stories to us as kids. And yeah. We just thought they were fairy tales, but they're not. But and true. just to, to, to know that they're dangerous and to know that we're a little bit in over our heads with it, uh, with all the forces that become involved once they reveal themselves. Uh, and I think for, for Xander, at least, he has a bit of a tunnel vision on everything. And for him, it's about uh, his friends and protecting the people that he loves. And uh, I think the mermaids tend to be a little bit, it's definitely a curveball. <laughs> Um, but until he um, until he does what he needs to do to protect the people he loves in his life, they're a bit of a, a, a secondary concern. I'd say that. As a mermaid, we I mean I know we have heard about humans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's a whole history. There's a whole history. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go up there. And and we don't see them really. Come, it, it seems almost like there's a limited time period that they can be on land. Is that real or, or no? <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't. I'm just I don't a fisherman. Want to say anything. I don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> I'm just a poor mermaid. I'm just a poor. A fish a out of water. A poor mermaid. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was going to ask um, now at the time of the pilot, I guess. You weren't actually in yet. No. So what was your casting process like? Well, Slip on a tail, swim in a pool. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, so I actually auditioned for the pilot, and I tested with four other girls, and the role went to lovely Aline. Um, and about a year later, um, I got the offer for Donna. So when it came round to that conversation, it was um, a swim test. So I went up to Vancouver and did a swim test, um, did some stuff underwater, and then from there we sealed the deal. She likes swimming. I do, but I wasn't really a swimmer. Yeah. It was more of you know you go to pool parties and you hang out, you look cute, you know, yeah. make sure you look cute yeah. in your bikini, get your picture, um, try not to get your hair wet. Right. Yeah. 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 But I thought I'm getting up in that pool though. <laughs> I think she had the fact that she had a dancing as a big part of her background, her oh. whole physicality, even just working with her and watching the, her, it, she's so languid. Mm -hmm. I mean. Just the movement, and she's incredibly powerful. Yes, yeah, she's so incredibly powerful. powerful. Yeah. She's so your presence, though, like yeah. just walking yeah. across the room with Donna is. is so yeah. powerful. It's so powerful. She I is. hope you in uh, in current um, African American or African in, in America anyway. It seems like uh, growing up 
swimming was not encouraged in the culture. It was, it, I don't know where that Neither back in Africa, not really. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. So, so it's like, I, I have an okay relationship with swimming. Yeah. Uh, my niece is terrified of the water. Her daughters are, eh. So maybe if they see... Yeah, Swing then hopefully they'll get into like, the water her. and be encouraged to swim, yes. Well, because they're going to want to be the mermaid. They wanna be yeah. like, it's going to be the first time seeing a black mermaid. You know, it's gonna be the first time seeing, it. and yeah, that's what's so yeah. beautiful. It's like, you know, because that—that's what happens. It gets that little kernel in your head, and mm -hmm. you just want to be. I want to be a mermaid, so you get in the water. So it starts with the imagination, yeah. and if you're unlocking that's, little yeah. girls' imagination, of course, exactly. it's just gonna think, like open I think up doors. That's one of the superior elements of our show and and our creators, uh, Eric Wald, and, and our show runner, is they've never thought in terms of color, creed, ethnicity, none of that. It's just like, the, as he said today, the job went to the best actor. And, um, you know, and, th and that's a big part of our mermaids, is they don't see that neither. They don't see gender, they don't, they don't see culture, yeah, they there's don't no see one. creed. They're just spirits, it's just soul. They, they see just are souls. what they are. It's not yeah. odd to them. And it's, you know, the, we're, the ideal world we'd all like to live in one day. We're not there yet. Yeah. And I love our ways from it, but there's... <laughs> oh, we could just touch back on your swimming. How much did you have? <laughs> we want to know the story. How much did you have to train for the part? Um, the mo most of the training was breath holding, because um, you know we spend a lot of time underwater doing a lot of the shots. We, even though it's CGI, we were in the water, so it was a few sessions. Not that many, but it was a few sessions with the breath holding coach, with the free diving coach, and um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I had to make sure that I was very like fit physically because it, it's um not stamina, it's I, I forgot. But you have to be fit. How long can you hold your breath? I got to two minutes twenty seconds. Whoa. Yeah, I don't you think can't I can be hold it that long anymore. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.